That's strike Not three. Fielder, Billy Hamilton. Ready for another chance? Billy Hamilton. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straight away right field. His first home run of the season as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Now, Into the box now, right Sid Sisk. Sid Sisk. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Mazzara is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors. Off and no three. one left on base. Here's Elvis Short Andrus shot. now. Elvis he leads off their Andrews. half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. 3-0 three three. Oh now. He's really been good this game around the plate throwing strikes hasn't walked anybody right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole but he can battle back taking all the way and it's three and one now and this is taken here for ball four so the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight now batting and here's the second generation big leaguer Delino De Shield he struck out twice thus far so we'll see if he can fare any better here. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. I think he might have let a little frustration out with that pitch. Way in front of that fastball. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Sisk moving forward, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So stepping in. Devin Bernal he's gone hitless in this one Dan and he's not alone no he's not Matt this lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far Hey, Matt you might be wondering why did he take that pitch right there well a lot of times as the two hitter you got a guy that can run on first base you have your own signs between each other and you're saying basically I'm going to give you one pitch to run on after that it's my at bat and another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Got him to go down swinging there. Devin right Bernal goes down 30. for out number two Jamar. in the bottom half. Huzzah. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hamilton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for Texas. They're down nine. It's 10. The Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge with Dallas in the background as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. Digging in now, Kyle Seeger. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not How care. If you hit the, the ball hard, hard, I guess that's his Ken philosophy. Ruffy it was going to get Jr. through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Trying to pick things up where we left off. 
Ken Griffey Jr. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazzara looks up and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two run shot for Griffey Jr. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. I know he's a confident pitcher but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater and it cost him big Your time. Attention, please. Lance now Stevenson for the comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the Lance. other arms that they've Stevenson. run out there in this one. Giancarlo Stanton now and a first pitch swing he hits a fly ball to left center. Point. A range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. First base to number five. Now Freddy, at the plate, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter, number two. Short at the plate, Corey, Corey. Seager. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Into the box now. Rukna Dodor starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. This is pulled into right, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, every at bat counts. I mean, it's a nice piece of hitting. It's late in the game, and obviously a losing cause. But I'll take my single. Here's Joey Gallo now as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one he's got a hit in three at bats to this point he's set here's the 0 1 a wave and a miss a tick behind a good fastball you know that can really be an effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop they're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone so if you can place it a little above it they have a hard time getting the barrel up there made a miss on the off speed pitch that time. Joey Gallo is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. In now, Rob Segedin. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. It looks like fatigue's not going to be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound, and fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him packing. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. Here's Jared Hoying. Singled homer run in his last time up. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. The 0 1 pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And now the Rangers are down to their final strike here. Right there, Matt. You know, they get the leadoff man on and they haven't been able to advance it. That's why they're not scoring runs. You got to hit and run still. Do something to get the. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball game is over. 12 to 1 at the end of this one. The M's brought the bats in this one with 18 total hits. Noah Syndergaard wins for a league best 28th time, striking out 12 in the process. 
So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 42 minutes. A reminder that post-game buses are available at the first base gate 20 minutes after the conclusion of play and will drop riders off at locations across the street from Lincoln Square Fountain or on the north side of Lincoln Square.